What is the main motivation behind the proposed method in the paper? The main motivation behind the proposed method in the paper is to address the challenge of processing long contexts efficiently and accurately using large language models, LLMs. The paper highlights the limitations faced by LLMs when dealing with extended contexts, such as the quadratic computational and memory overhead incurred by transformer-based models as the sequence length increases. The motivation stems from the need to enhance ILM's capability to handle longer contexts effectively, given the growing trend in academia and industry towards processing increasingly lengthy texts consisting of several thousands of tokens. The paper aims to introduce an innovative strategy that condenses context information offline through fine-tuning, enabling the model to provide accurate responses during inference with streamlined contextual representations. This approach allows for the extension of the effective context window of LLMs, while achieving state-of-the-art results with significantly fewer tokens and improved latency speed up. How does the proposed method in the paper address the challenge of processing long contexts effectively? The proposed method in the paper addresses the challenge of processing long contexts effectively by introducing a novel strategy that combines context compression and parameter-efficient fine-tuning. The method involves condensing context information offline through fine-tuning, enabling the model to provide accurate responses during inference with streamlined contextual representations. This approach is likened to a semi-closed book exam, where the model is provided with a concise cheat sheet of the original context to interpret and utilize efficiently. The researchers observe that despite progress in context compression, models often struggle to accurately read such cheat sheets and tend to hallucinate when applying them to answer queries. To overcome this issue, in-domain parameter-efficient fine-tuning is employed directly on the compacted context without altering its content, significantly improving the model's ability to extract and utilize information from compressed representations. By leveraging context compression and instruction fine-tuning, the method extends the effective context window of a 4K LAMA 2-7B model to handle up to 128K tokens, achieving state-of-the-art results with 30 times fewer tokens and a significant latency speed up. This innovative approach, known as LLOCO, combines context compression, retrieval, and parameter-efficient fine-tuning in a pipeline that learns contexts offline, significantly speeding up and reducing the cost of long document question answering. What is the analogy used in the paper to explain the difference between traditional in-context learning and the proposed approach? The analogy used in the paper to explain the difference between traditional in-context learning and the proposed approach is comparing them to different types of exams. Traditional in-context learning, where the LLM has access to all materials while answering questions, is likened to an open book exam. In contrast, the proposed approach, where the LLM is provided with a condensed context representation, is compared to a semi-closed book exam where the LLM cannot bring the entire book, but is allowed to bring a cheat sheet. The analogy highlights that in order to excel in the exam, the student, LLM, must efficiently distill a concise yet informative cheat sheet, condensed context representation, and effectively retrieve relevant information from it to accurately answer exam questions. How does the context encoder in the proposed method compress the original long context? The context encoder in the proposed method compresses the original long contexts by taking a sequence of tokens as input and outputting a sequence of token embeddings, which are referred to as summary embeddings. These summary embeddings are significantly shorter than the original context. The context encoder, which is a language model itself, condenses the long contexts into these summary embeddings, which are then prepended to the LLM decoder to serve as the system prompt. The LLM decoder processes the user's prompt normally and generates answers conditioned on both the summary embeddings and the user prompts. The context encoder used in the experiments is autocompressor for LAMA 2-7B, which groups the document into chunks of 1536 tokens and recursively compresses each chunk into 50 summary embeddings. This compression ratio of 30 to 1 
allows the effective context window to be extended to approximately 128k tokens. The choice of autocompressor was based on its ability to support compressing very long contexts due to its recursive training procedure and achieve a high compression ratio. What is the significance of using autocompressor in the context of the proposed method? The significance of using autocompressor in the context of the proposed method lies in its ability to compress long contexts into compact representations, known as summary embeddings. These summary embeddings are significantly shorter than the original context, allowing for more efficient processing by the LLM decoder. Autocompressor is crucial in generating these summary embeddings from lengthy documents, enabling the LLOCO system to handle extended context windows effectively. By leveraging Autocompressor's recursive training procedure and achieving a compression ratio of 30 to 1, LLOCO can condense large amounts of information into concise representations that align with the LLM decoder's text embedding space. This compression process is essential for enhancing the efficiency and effectiveness of the LLOCO pipeline, enabling the model to process long contexts with improved accuracy and speed. How does the fine-tuning stage in the LLOCO pipeline contribute to improving the LLM's performance in processing long contexts? The fine-tuning stage in the LLOCO pipeline significantly enhances the LLM's performance in processing long contexts by enabling the model to effectively extract and utilize information from compressed representations. This is achieved through in-domain parameter-efficient fine-tuning directly on the compacted context, without altering its content. By fine-tuning on the compressed cheat sheets, the LLM is guided to accurately interpret and navigate the condensed context, leading to improved accuracy in answering queries. This approach allows the LLM to efficiently handle long contexts by distilling essential information into concise yet informative representations that align with the LLM's decoding process. The fine-tuning step ensures that the LLM can proficiently retrieve relevant details from the compressed context during inference, mitigating issues such as hallucinations that may arise when using unaltered compressed representations. Overall, the fine-tuning stage in the LLOCO pipeline plays a crucial role in enhancing the LLM's ability to process long contexts accurately and efficiently, ultimately leading to superior performance in long document question-answering tasks. What are the primary stages of the LLOCO pipeline for offline context learning? The primary stages of the LLOCO pipeline for offline context learning are pre-processing, fine-tuning, and serving. In the pre-processing stage, the original documents are divided into chunks and passed through the context encoder, autocompressor, to generate summary embeddings. These summary embeddings are stored alongside the original passages in a vector database. During the fine-tuning stage, documents are segmented into groups based on type or tasks, and parameter-efficient fine-tuning is performed using LoRa adapters. The fine-tuned LoRa adapters are stored in the vector database, along with an identifier for each corresponding passage entry. Additionally, a separate LoRa database is created to store all the LoRa adapters. In the serving stage, when a user asks a question, the system retrieves the compressed token embeddings of the passages instead of the actual passages. These token embeddings are concatenated and prepended to the decoder LLM. The system also searches for the corresponding LoRa adapter in the database and applies it to the decoder LLM during inference. How does LLOCO compare to the baseline methods in terms of performance on long document question answering tasks? LLOCO outperforms the baseline methods in terms of performance on long document question answering tasks. Specifically, when compared to the baseline methods such as LAMA 2-7B4K 32K without context, LAMA 2-7B4K 32K with context, LAMA 2-7B4K 32K with retrieval and autocompressor, LLOCO significantly surpasses the baseline on all datasets by a substantial margin while using 30 times fewer tokens. For instance, on the narrative QA dataset, 
LLOCO achieves an F1 score of 28. 34 compared to 14. 42 for the baseline, showcasing the efficacy of the proposed technique. Furthermore, LOCO's effectiveness is particularly evident when dealing with challenging datasets like Narrative QA, where the average document length exceeds the context window limit of LAMA 2 to 7B. By compressing the contexts into approximately 2,600 tokens on average, LLOCO can leverage all available context, resulting in impressive performance on such datasets. Overall, LLOCO demonstrates superior performance in comprehending compressed long contexts and preserving essential information while achieving significant speed-ups and cost reductions in long document question-answering tasks compared to the baseline methods. What is the impact of combined instruction fine-tuning on the performance of LLOCO? The impact of combined instruction fine-tuning on the performance of LLOCO is significant. The ablation study conducted in the paper shows that when combining all the training data and fine-tuning a general model, LLOCO surpasses baseline methods on all datasets except for one. The combined fine-tuning approach demonstrates the potential for knowledge transfer across different tasks. Specifically, the study reveals that the performance of LLOCO with combined fine-tuning is generally lower compared to in-domain fine-tuning on individual datasets, except for the quality dataset. This difference in performance can be attributed to the nature of the tasks, where quality heavily relies on the LLM's reasoning abilities, while the other datasets focus more on the LLM's capacity to retrieve relevant information from long contexts. Overall, the combined instruction fine-tuning enhances the LLOCO model's ability to reason about long contexts and improves its performance on various datasets, showcasing the effectiveness of this approach in optimizing the model's performance across different tasks. How does LLOCO perform on the long bench evaluation tasks compared to the LAMA2 baseline? LLOCO outperforms the LAMA2 baseline on five out of the nine long bench evaluation datasets. Specifically, LLOCO excels in the multi-doc QA task, achieving significantly better results on all three datasets within that category. It also demonstrates comparable performance in two datasets, Multinews Casper, but falls short in the GovReport and Multifield N datasets. The GovReport dataset, which requires generating a one-page summary, poses a challenge for LLOCO due to the length of the generated content. The lower performance on the Multifield N dataset could be attributed to the out-of-distribution nature of the data, compared to the training data. Despite these limitations, the average score of LLOCO across all datasets is higher than that of the LAMA2 baseline, showcasing the overall effectiveness of the LLOCO approach on the long bench evaluation tasks.